My circa 2007 Ally and AJ hair going on. Was that even 2007? I don't really know. What's up my beautiful people? It's Courtney and today I'm doing a Christmas life hacks video because it is a very stressful time of year. I personally love Christmas as my favorite time of year but also like the most stressful which doesn't seem to really go together. I really hope some of these life hacks help you out and this video is also a collab with my friend Olivia over from Keep Up With Liv and she's doing a holiday gift guide. So we got you. We're making your life a little simpler. And we're both having giveaways on our channel she has one over on her channel and I am currently having one for three $100 Visa gift cards running until December 31st and all you have to do to enter is be subscribed and like interact with me if you want to there also be extra entries if you're interested and I'll do all the details in the description box so let's get started with these life hacks and by the way if you're new what's up welcome virtual handshake actually no 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 virtual hug, bring it in. And let me know if you're new in the comments so I can officially welcome you over to our little fam, which we don't have a name for. We need a name for us, guys. Help me out, because I'm, I'm terrible with coming up with names. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So life hack number one is very, very simple and saves you a lot of hassle. So instead of just letting your lights get tangled everywhere, you could wrap them around a hanger to prevent them from getting all tangled up. And this is also an easy storage solution as well, because then you could just hang it up in your closet. Speaking of storage, solutions we have a way to store wrapping paper so you could take a really cute little garbage basket or a bin and just stick your rolls in there and then you could stick it in the corner of your closet or it is even like a kind of cute accent piece maybe like if you have a room like this where it's kind of like my craft whatever goes in here goes in here room instead of like a junk drawer this room is more like a junk room while we're on the topic of wrapping paper if you have some leftover one which unfortunately all my leftover wrapping paper is like very ugly and from the 90s because it's like my mom's really old wrapping paper that she didn't want anymore and i already used my cute stuff this year so i'm just going with it this you could basically take your leftover scraps and decorate the rest of your house with it so what i did here is cut out an insert with an exacto knife and put it on a tray and i I use double-sided tape to go ahead and stick it to the serving tray. That way you could remove it when you're done. This adds like a nice little pop of festivity to your typical tray, but it also is like a placemat almost, because if you spill stuff, you could just rip it off and do another one. This next one I've seen kind of everywhere lately, and I wanted to try it out for myself and give you guys some feedback. So I've seen this done with Cool Whip, but all I had was like the canned whipped cream, so I wanted to see how that would work, because I feel like that's more like common, I suppose. But all I did was take a can of whipped cream and spray it out onto a plate. From then I used a little plastic spatula and kind of just smoothed it over and made it look nice and pretty and flat and then stuck it in the freezer. It takes a couple hours for it to harden but then once you take it out you could go ahead and take any kind of cookie cutter. Side note mine was kind of big for my cup so use a smaller cookie cutter if you have it and then cut out the whipped cream and then I had to kind of like slide like my knife under it to kind of lift up the cool whip because it kind of stuck to the plate some. Maybe I should have used like a wax sheet or like a wax paper on top or something like that But I was still able to get it out and then mine looked like a little gingerbread man But when I placed it in the hot chocolate, it kind of looked more like a just form snowflake and Then you have a cute little topping for your hot chocolate and bonus points It helps cool down your hot chocolate, which I have like I call it baby tongue because my tongue is so sensitive to everything So this definitely helped my hot chocolate a lot this next hack, if you will, is a fun way to like gift money because money can be good to give, but it could be kind of like boring for some people to give. So spice it up some. This is an idea that my brother actually gave to my sister when she graduated high school. So I took this and Christmified it. Christmified it. That was weird. What's great about this is you could use any value of bill you want. So I used ones and just kind of taped one to the very bottom of the box. And then you start taping the bills together and you could alter it between maybe ones and fives or if you want to get super fancy maybe 20s if you want to send it to my house like a hundreds so once they're all taped together I shove them in the box and then you want to take some wrapping paper again we have this old school like 1990s wrapping paper that's turning yellow on the back I could probably sell it like as an antique or something but you want to wrap this upside down so the side of the tissue box with the opening you want to put on the bottom that way when you wrap it it just looks nice and neat on the top hopefully that makes sense but then just wrap it up and I'm doing my best to try to make it look as neat need as possible. So once it's all wrapped up, I flipped it back over to the pretty side and cut a little slip in the very top of the tissue box. This is where the normal slit in the tissue box is, so it lines right up. 
and then you could like pull one dollar bill out and just leave it like that if you want or you could just make a little like flap out of it and say open here or something like that so then i topped it with the bow and we are good to go there are so many cute ways to give money for the holidays so if you're giving money make sure to make it creative make it fun guys i'm a sucker for cookies so of course i needed a life hack that involved making cookies so i'm making some sugar cookies which is like tradition for me every year but don't laugh at me i literally do not have a rolling pin at my house i don't know how i have like 20 baking sheets and like 50 other kitchen gadgets and i don't have a rolling pen so i use just like a round cup i floured it up i floured a pan and just rolled out the dough once you roll it out, you wanna take your cookie cutters and go ahead and place it down. And then don't push the cookie cutter out of it or the cookie out of the cookie cutter, but then just go ahead and put it on your baking sheet that you're gonna be baking it with the cookie cutter still on it. Then you can go ahead and like decorate it with sprinkles and this is gonna act like a little guard around the rest of your pan so you don't get sprinkles everywhere and they don't burn to your pan. And as you do this, some of them will come off but it's definitely a lot less of a hassle than you know doing it just without any cookie cutter guard type of thing. So then I just bake them and there we go. We have these delicious cookies although they do not look as pretty once they expand and cook. I feel like this always happens. Okay, so those are my Christmas life hacks. Let me know which one was your favorite and let me know also what video you wanna see next if you missed my last ones, you could go ahead and click to the side of me and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye